you've had this brush with death, but now it's time to think very seriously indeed, because the next would-be assassin may hit his target. The total miracle that you're still alive. The fact that you didn't die seems indeed to be a miracle of God. You've had this brush with death, but now it's time to think very seriously indeed, because the next would-be assassin may hit his target. And if not him, then the one after that, and so on. But do you know what? Whatever the reason that you survived this assassination attempt, whether it was direct divine intervention or, you know, even, even if God didn't move space and time, but just he did it in his providence, we can know one thing with certainty. It is absolutely certain that the only reason why you are alive right now, shooting or no shooting, is because God wants you to be alive. This brush with death should bring something home to you. You can dodge all the bullets you want, but as surely as death comes for every man, one day he will come for you, whether it be with a bullet or just in your bed. Now, before we talk about what this means for your plans as President Trump, let's talk, if I may, about Donald, the man. When that day comes, when death finally knocks on your door, don't you want to be right with God? What good is being president of the United States or even emperor of the whole world if you then die and fall into hell the slave of the devil? And yes, that's what we all are unless we are freed by Christ. At this time, having come so close to death, and also at this stage of your life, you've been given an opportunity to focus that very few others get. Now is the time for you to seek out the solution to the great problems of life, of sin, of man's fall from grace, our estrangement from God, and our redemption and sanctification by Jesus Christ, the only true God. And through all this, you can come to know, love, and serve Him for the remainder of your life on earth, and then be happy with Him forever in the next life. 